Well, it's time we check out the Syndicate cards for the Tide Rises card reveal. Shouldn't be too surprised about that. I do hear there is actually a third new keyword, which is the Vice for the Syndicate cards. And if you take a look at the actual patch notes here, I think it's on the top. Yeah. So Vice, trigger this ability after you spent the specified number of coins, then set reset counter. So after you spend a certain number of coins, it resets the counter and triggers the Vice thing. So if we go take a look at the cards then, starting off with the Actarontia Deckhand, probably pronounced that wrong, 4 for 4 Pirate, Vice boosts self by 1. So a Vice is kind of like a bonus effect it seems, so say we have um, something else to spend, like say you have Candle, you spend 3 coins on Candle, you spend 3 coins so Vice triggers, and you get a point in the sky. It's interesting, but for this guy to be good, you have to spend, what, like 12 coins for it to be an 8 for 4? Should be really good. That's certainly doable. These guys, This could add up. Thinking about comparing it to, like, a, one of the point-per-turn engines, this has more potential in a short-round situation than those do. But then in the long round, it's less consistent. Right? You have to actually spend the coins to get the points. It's not automatic. So if you don't spend the coins, then you can't get it. Could be, It could be interesting. It depends how many coins your deck has. Some decks don't spend that many coins frequently, and some do. So we'll see. This one's certainly interesting, though. See, if we're playing something like... Um, if you're playing something like Off the Books where you spend a lot of coins for tributes, and this could certainly see some play there. It doesn't have a gain category, though, which is worth noting, so it doesn't fit in occlusion or anything. I'm curious to see the other cards if we get a lot more coin spending, because a lot of the... Well, for example, in a bounty deck, you can potentially spend a ton of coins. Your bounty engine's going with your Witch Hunter and Witch Finder, but if they kill that off, you might not be able to spend that many coins. This might not be that good, but... It certainly has potential. I'm curious how it compared to something like Tax Collector with this one coin a turn. The coin's not necessarily a point in this situation, but I'm curious to see how this compares. Next up, we have the Magpie. So it is a Beast Pirate. So we've got the um, Seagull and now the Magpie, which are both Beast Pirates, I believe. Although Seagull might be cursed, I can't remember. Anyway, Magpie is a 3 power, 5 provision. 2 profit, so it's a 5 for 5 if you count 2 coins. Fee 1, spawn a crown, cooldown 1. Okay. So this will help you stop over-profiting if you can use this fee and just build up the coins to a really big swing turn. Which is something Syndicate really used to do. More so back when things like Caleb weren't cooldown 1 and you just put a bounty on everything. Big swing turns like that people didn't like, so I'm curious about this. The card itself doesn't have that much value. You really need to take advantage of the crowns for this to be good. However, you could set up a whole bunch of crowns and then use potentially vice cards. I'm sure there'll be at least one more vice card. So there's certainly some options there. And I'm curious about it. If you're playing something that is worried about over profiting, this could be good. It's also worth noting those crowns can make you a really big finisher. So for example, say you have a Bincy and a Jackpot. You could just play, use this to turn all of your coins into crowns, then play Bincy, use your jackpot for those nine coins, then use all these um, crowns to get a coin. So that's interesting. The crown, I'm sure, is the thing that Witchfinder gives you that just gives you a coin. I like the theme, though. It's bringing you back the coins. I'm curious about this one. We'll see if there's how much benefit you can really get out of saving those crowns instead of just having the coins there. We'll have to see what the other cards are. Next up, we have Ixora. 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 One of those three is probably still wrong. Anyway, it's a human pirate. Eight for eight. That's pretty good value. Vice six, destroy the lowest power enemy unit. Now, this could be very good. If you spend six coins, well, I guess it depends. It depends, again, how many coins are you spending. You spend six coins to destroy like a two power token, that's not great. If you spend six coins to destroy like a random engine they put down, that is pretty good. 
We have to get the coins first though and then spend them. So it's kind of hard to do this immediately. Let's just make sure we read voice correctly here. After you spent the specified number of coins and resets the counter. Yeah, so you could spend six, destroy something, and spend six and destroy something again. So if you have a, I think the best case for this might be something like Conjurer's Candle. What a surprise. But uh, anything with a lot of good value spending. If you have coins built up and you play this, you could theoretically trigger it twice in the same turn with the crowns from the magpie, which might be good. Right, because you can spend 12 coins, you can use your, so you have a hoard, you got nine in your hoard, you spend those nine, and then you have three crowns, you trigger those three crowns, and you, well, you spend all of them, and then this destroys two units. I could see some potential with this. Definitely see some potential, but it depends on what your opponent is playing. We mentioned Magpie, or Seagull Magpie, really. If they're playing with something like Seagull, it won't do very much, but it is an 8 for 8 anyway. The Vice 6 seems like it might take a while to trigger, but we'll see. Tribute cards, with like the Profit Tribute cards could be pretty good in this situation, which don't always see a ton of play, but if you have Profit Tribute, it gives you coins, it helps you spend them, so it could work well with this. I think we're going to have to see all the cards to really get an idea, though. Mercenary Contract. Crime, 7 Provisions, Gold Crime. Profit, 5. Spend all your coins and play a unit from your deck with provision costs up to the number spent. So we lost Bank for consistency in the Siri Nova Golden Necker decks for Syndicate, and now we have this instead. I think this is a potentially a better card for finding exactly what you want. If you've got four coins, you can play this and get nine, spend all nine, and play any unit from your deck with that much cost. It is very expensive in spending all those coins though. But you'll make sure you get what you want. The thing, the question is, is the cost gonna be worth it? It does trigger vice, but like you don't have to put more cards in your deck to trigger vice because you can just use fee cards that already exist. But this could be what you want if you need to find a certain card. Like say say you're playing Golden Ecker, Siri Nova, and you need your Roland, or your Gellert, or you need your Azar, or you, you need your Siri. It does not only as it's by the way, it's not only a syndicate card. You can play any of the units. Any unit. So you can get your Siri Nova with this. Is this worth it? I mean, this is probably worth it in that deck because you'd want to replace Bank. Because with Bank gone, it's a lot less consistency. This gives you some consistency back. But it does cost you quite a bit of coins. Then again, maybe you only need a six version card, so you need your Kurt. You could just have a Horde 1. But no matter what, it's going to spend all your coins. So it could certainly be very useful. I'm just curious to see how often people play it. But I definitely see this card being pretty useful. It's a tutor card for anything up to nine provisions if you have the coins. It's just having the coins might be a little challenging sometimes. Next up we have Captain Yagao. Yago. Seven power, thirteen provisions, another expensive guy. Human pirate. Deploy, gain as many coins as you spent this turn. Okay, that's potential right there. V1 boost an allied pirate by one. So obviously here you have the this is like kind of getting us into the synergies with the magpie and all these other cards. So say you have nine coins in your hoard. You spend those nine coins. You use like four or five crowns you got from Magpie. You play this. You get 14 coins back. It plays for 21 because we're assuming you're having jackpot in this situation with this deploy. Interesting. And you could also combo this with jackpot, obviously. So say you have nine coins. This is like a hypothetical, one of the better cases, right? You have nine coins. Use those nine coins, you jackpot, use those nine coins, you spend like four crowns, you play this, you spent 22 coins this turn, this guy goes up to a 29, well you get nine coins back and he goes up by 13 and you spend the nine coins with his fee or something. So you go, it can, can be worth 29 then. That certainly seems like it might be warranting consideration. But then you'd have to be playing Jackpot. Without Jackpot, this seems a lot worse. Without Jackpot, it's maxes 9 coins. And 16 for 13 
I think you'd rather be playing something like the Brute and Bounty. I don't know if you'd play this then. But with Jackpot, this has a lot of potential. You just combo this with Jackpot. It seems like a fun card to try and get some big payoffs with, for sure. I do like it. I think maybe we'll see Jackpot. Although, with all this Pirate Synergy, maybe we're going to get something for... Uh, what's the one that spawns the two Sea Jackals? Pirate's Cove. Maybe we'll get something with that finally, but... I think you're going to want Jackpot for these cards, based on how they're looking so far. But we still have one left, which is the Acherontia, something like that. Usually I look up how to pronounce these cards when making a video on them, but I don't know how to, that would ruin the point of having a reveal video if we don't knew what they were already. Anyway, so we have the Machine Ship. I like how we're getting ships for most of the factions. Like, I don't know if we're getting Northern Realm ships, but we got ships for a lot of the ones where it makes sense in. Makes sense with the expansion of the, the title expansion. So, six power, 12 provisions, six profits. So that's pretty good already, right? Six power, six coins, not bad. And we've got Vice 10, play the top card of your deck. Well, that's a very strong effect, but spending 10 coins is not the easiest thing. Because you can't have 10 in Hoard at once. You can use those crowns. So it looks like the Magpie's crowns could will, will probably end up being pretty useful here. Probably end up being useful. And I'm wondering if Count Reuven's Treasure finally gets played with these. I don't think we've ever used it. It's just very awkward to make a deck with it. But maybe it can help you carry over coins too. So maybe that gets finally gets some play. And there's always In Search of Forgotten Treasure, but... To refill your coins. If you can get that going with these vice cards, then you're talking about some really insane points. I think we'll definitely try to make that work, although I'm not sure just how good it will be. Well, I'm sure it'll be really strong if you get it going, but it's usually hard to get it going. Anyway, about the this card. So vice 10 is pretty solid. Uh, we have to check one more thing with vice. So does it say the unit has to be on board during it yeah so you have to have the unit out it's not during the turn so we have to play this then spend the 10 we can't spend some of them and then play this to fill back our coins and spend another five for example we can't like spend five play this spend five and then get the vice it has to be on the board for all the spending so i think you definitely want to trigger the vice effect the turn you play this otherwise it's just it's not bad, like 6 with 6 profits not bad by itself, but you definitely want to get the effect at least once. Now suppose you do get the effect, you play the top card of your deck, and then this gives you 6 with 6 profit. I think that's pretty good. I just... You have to have a horde of 10, or a horde of 9, and then a crown, or like some combination of close to that. Well, you don't have to have the horde, because this gives you 6 coins. So you have a horde of 3 and a crown, and you play this, then you spend those 10 coins. That's not too bad. The thing is, you need a spender out. That's always Syndicate's problem, right? Don't have a spender, you're in trouble. But I can definitely see this being pretty good. Especially if you can trigger after the first turn. The first thing you do, if you just play a six power card with this effect, and then you can play it right away, play the one off the top of your deck, I think that's pretty good. Obviously, the high roll situations can use to play like 10 units with this, which would be pretty funny. If you like each turn you're spamming out the cards. But that's like a bounty refilling thing or a. In search of forgotten treasures thing. Otherwise, I don't think you're ever going to get that many coins. But Certainly a fun card. And I, I like how these cards work together. Flinder's Crew and In Search of Forgotten Treasure. I'm curious if we can make work with us. But overall, some very interesting cards. I think there's some potential here. I'm just curious how easy it'll be to get going. Because this will probably die whenever you play it. But on the rest of the Magpie setup, it will actually be pretty useful, it looks like. I don't, I'm curious if any other cards are going to get Vice. Sometimes when they add a new keyword, they retroactively give some of the existing cards the keywords, but we'll see. In any case, hopefully you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. That'll be it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. And you can check out some more videos over here. And thanks for watching.